one of the leading surrealists is getting a thought-provoking run at the Centre Georges Pompidou Museum in Paris. The exhibition is focusing on René Magritte's work and its relationship to the philosophical movements of the 20th century. His paintings are dreamlike and can challenge viewers' perceptions of reality. René Magritte is classified as a surrealist, but he thought of himself more as a thinker who used images to express his ideas. He was especially interested in the works of philosophers Martin Heidegger and later Michel Foucault. Both examined the connection, or lack thereof, between language and reality. Magritte was at the forefront of transferring these ideas into the world of art. His combination of paint and philosophy is now being featured in an exhibit called The Treachery of Images at the Centre Georges Pompidou Museum in Paris. The relationship Magritte had with the philosophers and with philosophy was not in any way to make him a follower. Magritte wanted to engage in a theoretical combat with the philosophers to prove to them that images can express thoughts in the same way that words can. For centuries, painters had strived for realism. But Magritte had a different focus. His work highlighted the difference between what we say and what we see. He also played with the observer's expectations. Magritte once said, we always want to see what is hidden by what we see. It's wisdom that is key to his enduring appeal. These images are sophisticated, but they are also accessible. And that is the strength of Magritte, and this no doubt comes from his work in advertising. He builds considerably striking images. We don't understand it all, but we are deeply moved by them. And that's the experience one can have in front of his works today. Magritte's work and playful charm are on display until January the 23rd.